Uh, I'm going to be fairly brief, um, partially because now I've realized that I forgot to take notes because I had this whole plan in my head of how this was going to go. I no longer remember it. Um, but the first thing I want to do is just kind of show you what this thing can do. So there's just, there's a, a built-in tutorial that you can kind of walk through here. It's really good. Um, I'm very impatient, and when I first uh, was taking a look at this, I I tried to create something without paste it in here without uh, dealing with the tutorial at all and. Um, while I feel like there are pluses for what I'm about to play you, like that I figured out all on my own, like it's not good, okay? <laughs> so I apologize for what is about to happen. some chord progressions more or less and uh, 
I'll talk more about what some of this stuff does in the demo in here in a second. Uh, but basically, it's all about telling it to play something and then sleeping for a second, or most of the time for a portion of a second, and then play some more stuff. Um, the way that I want to demo this, though, I'm going to bring that help back up. Find this. So the really cool, one of the really cool things about this. Oops. You guys read that? Let's see how much I can remember without reading the whole. Okay. So let's say I just want to play a note. Um, so this define is, that's just defining a method, really. It's a, I don't know. We like domain specific languages and make it look fancier than it really is, but this is the same as saying def my loop. Um, so that's just really defining a method here, and then there are some, some special things down here. So this is literally spinning off a thread. Uh, the reason for that, I'll show you the reason for that here in a bit, and we're naming our thread, and I'll tell you about, about why we do that later as well. Then we're just creating an infinite loop and running that method. And it just sounds like that. But what's awesome is we can update it on the fly and send it hit command R, basically a refresh. Instead of just choosing a chord. 
So now this is going to just choose some note from a minor pentatonic in this particular octave. If I remember correctly, we can uh, tell it to play across multiple octaves. Or maybe not. So that's fun. We can also, up here, you might have noticed in the commented out code that I had up here, you can you can uh, use different synths that it has built in. Uh, and it has several. You can maybe kind of see down in this left-hand corner. You can if, in your, if you're in the front row. You probably can't if you're in the back. Um, I really like one called Super Saw, which just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> It's even more fun if we increase this a little bit. So just to give you an example of what this sleep is actually doing, I can increase it. drums right can be difficult. Um, there are sounds for looping. Actually, I should show you. Uh, now I've already lost that. Oh, it's not gonna. There we go. It has some autocomplete features, so if you can at least get the first few letters correct of what you're trying to sample, it'll help you fill it in. I'd like to tell them just hide that for a second. So that's kind of awesome. Um, ooh, excellent. So I did, actually that's a good illustration. I caused an error there because what is happening right here is it is starting to play that and then starting to play it immediately and it's starting to play it immediately because there's no sleep in there at all. Um, so you throw a sleep in here and one thing you can do is tell it to, I don't know, just, just sleep for however long this sample is. There, that sounds much better. Essentially, 
you're, you're varying the rate. Um, and I, I have to, I've already forgotten exactly what the uh, that Sweet. particular. It's almost. soloing uh, so that resulted in something if I can find it is this the one that I fixed no oh I can do it
band gets a little bit better, right? And they've got that one, that one fucking guy. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm fucking good. So you guys just play a thing. And I'm gonna do. It. That's what's happening here. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna play things over. You guys play, but I'm gonna play. All right. So that's kind of what is happening in this song. But <laughs> that was fun. That was the thing. You know, we can walk through this a little bit. But there's more just defining. Um, for instance, a lot of these are. And I could probably dry this up a little bit. But a lot of these are of this pattern. Uh, play this chord, and then rest for half a second, and then play that chord again. Uh, and but only rest for a quarter of a second, so that's how you kind of get the shuffle pattern uh, that you heard. Uh, and then the bass player is just picking notes randomly out of the minor pentatonic scale for each chord and having at it uh, slowly, which is fine. Uh, you can see I kind of piece together some from that some some larger methods here that are that sort of represent the. 12 bar section for the the rhythm player, 12 bar section for the for the bass, and then the ridiculous super saw uh, solo, <laughs> if you will, uh, who's doing various things here. Lots of lots of looping x number of times, and then like ooh, that's not quite the right number of times. I think it needed to be four fewer times. Uh, yeah, so more, more stuff that you see, mostly just sleeping and then playing a thing. So not super complicated. And then here are all my threads. So I've got one, two, five, five different threads for the sort of five different things happening. And we could add Sound good with a synth. Right. I mean, I was that jerk in high school, right? 
thought you were talking about Danish <laughs> Which one? The one that was too loud? All of them. I've been all of them. Yeah, so actually me and Dave Spruce are in a band. Uh, um, actually, we're playing this set. Hey! Shameless plug. We're playing this Saturday at Robert Farmer's Market. So it's a morning thing. If you're not a morning person, that's fine. Um, it's nice. I've seen them there several times. Yeah. So this is our last one this season, but it should be a good time. We play lots of blues stuff. What time? Uh, we will start playing around 9.30 and play until 11.30 noon-ish. We talked them into letting us play later because it really is really early. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Not not even a little but a big deal. None of no no big deal. So oh, this one doesn't have width effects. This is just straight up what if I play Blue Monday by that one band? What was the band? Orgy.